So we're going to take a look at something a little bit different than what I normally show you. Now I had a chance to show this off here on the channel and I know it doesn't go with what I normally do, but I really, really just find old stuff like this cool. This is an old phonograph. And what this actually is, is kind of a knockoff Victrola. Basically after um, the Victrola had started being made there, um, there started being a lot of other companies that were making some of them once they were able to uh, get on in it with the patents uh, expiring and what all. And that's what you have going here. This particular model is made by World Phonograph out of Chicago. So I'm gonna go here and show you exactly how all of this works and what's going on with it here. And we'll actually go play a record on it. All right, so to start with here, we've got our World Photograph of Chicago, Illinois, right there. We have a few controls on it. We got this little guy right here, which is what starts and stops the record. We have a speed control here, depending on um, the speed of the record that you're playing. This is one of the old hand crank ones there. This little plunger right here that goes in and out is actually your volume. And where does the volume come from? Well, that is right here in this hole. Of course, the actual needle is on this contraption right here, which would go over there. Let me put down in a groove and play. And right here, you will see a needle. And that, in fact, this needle, you can turn that right there and pull it in and out. And you have little needles like this um, that will have to be replaced. These needles don't last forever. You can see why this is called a needle because you can actually stab yourself with this thing just really, really easily there. And you'd have a bunch of those and just about every time you would play a record, you'd change the needle out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do away with the microphone now so that we can hear the actual audio on this thing. The record that we have here. Record Symphony Number no. 3 in F Major by Brahms as performed by the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra. I'm going to go ahead and get to cranking this guy. Okay, there we go. Once you get the tension there, you know you're done. Open this up so we can hear it. Go ahead and put in. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't run perfectly, but still actually functions. We're gonna go find a different record and try something different on here. Again. Then see if this record works any better. So while this one doesn't function completely perfectly, um, it still does function. It gives you a little bit of an idea of how these would have worked back in the day. And I hope you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different here. Well, if you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like. You can go down into the comment section and leave any thoughts you have down there. And if you're interested, you can also subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification to make sure that you catch all the videos that I post so you don't miss anything. I'm Jeremy with Poindexter G, and we'll see you next time.